Hi, my name is Wade Spencer. Today I'm going to show you how to install a Maxi Splice. You have to make your splice plates. After you get the belt installed, you put your come along in between your splice plates on the back side of the belt to pull your belt together. Then you just pull this together and just crank it there till your belt is tight. Get a nice square, get you a silver pencil or whatever you'd like to mark the belt with. Mark it and you cut your line. Next step, you install the template tape on your belt. Hold your belt up and uh, cut your template tape to the width of the belt. Next step would be peel this back side right here. Lay it out nice and easy. Push up in the center. Like that. Then once you look good, good and square, do the same thing on the bottom side. Make sure you don't have any wrinkles in your template tape. Start in the center, work down. Just like that. And you notice on the bottom of the template tape, you have arrows. Arrows always go to the end cut of your belt. Then you will start drilling your holes on your top belt where you have the template tape. next step is to sandwich your two belts together and get you some C-clamp vice grips and line your belt up, clamp as far as in as you can, make sure your belt is square just like that, look good here, go ahead and throw a couple extra clamps on there, make sure your belt does not slide on you while you're getting ready to drill. You can look at your edges, edges are nice and square. Your next step, we are going to drill through the bottom belt. Just like that. Now you can see your holes. Everything's in line. Everything still looks square. You, at that time, now you can release all your clamps. Now it's time to install the maxi splices. This is an AB splice. This is a maxi splice, which is, is bronze, non-sparking. Starting on one end, shove it through right here into your belt. Second piece, you got a center piece, and that can go on either way. Then you pull your next one right here. You shove that through, just like this. Next step on this one, verify all your arrows are pointing to the into your belt. There's an arrow on all these maxi splices that shows belt end. Make sure the arrow is pointed to the end of the belt. You want to torque these to 100 foot pounds. Make sure your belt is still square. Looking at the edges. I like to start in the center. And your next one, go to the one right next to it. All right, let's get rid of them splice plates now. Remove your come along. Put the bucket bolts in the back side. Line up your bolts.
Once you install your buckets, run it for 30 minutes, shut her down, lock it out, retorque to 100 foot pounds, unlock, and you're ready to run. For more videos like this, check out maxilift.com. And thanks for watching.